I grew up in Brisbane, in Australia, and started guitar playing at a very early age. My brother got this guitar for Christmas. I would have been three or four. And just pulled it out of this little cheap triangle cardboard thing and he strummed the strings on it and I heard the sound and I went nuts. I've been addicted to guitar and the sound of guitar ever since. It was something, something just sonically about the sound of the guitar. And it was the one thing I think growing up, I wasn't very sporty or anything like that, but it was the one thing that I could do that kind of felt like my own. And the first day of school, I brought the guitar in with me, you know, just in case someone wanted me to play something. It gave everything in my life focus. It was all revolved around music. I knew from a very early age that this is what I was going to do. I loved being in a band, it was the best thing ever, but it was never about being a rock star. It was just, I was so enthralled with what you could do with the instrument. That has never waned, and I'm more enthralled now than I've ever been. I started gigging. Uh, in a band in Brisbane and then from there I moved to Sydney and then started gigging in Sydney bands and from there I uh, got a gig playing in bands overseas and then I was working with a producer in Sydney and he had this massive box of old analog effects and I thought I thought he was crazy I thought you know get with the times man he said no just try it I, I plugged it in and, and I hit the first chord and that fundamentally changed me. That got me started. So I would plug these things in and they sounded absolutely phenomenal, but when I plugged them together, there was issues. My signal would drop. It didn't have the same amount of clarity. I'd had this idea for this switching system, tried to get it off the ground in Australia and literally no one was interested. And we moved to England and started talking to engineers. And that's how Gig Rig started. Our first product came out, the Pro 14. I wanted to look like a piece of Star Wars paraphernalia. I remember doing the first guitar show, we were launching our first ever product and, I, and I'd worked out I needed to sell 260 of these things over the weekend. And if I did, I could quit my job and I could go full time. And we sold exactly one unit and he cancelled his order before he went through with it because it was new it wasn't like an overdrive pedal that you could that people knew exactly what was going on definitely was a slow burn to start with but we have 12 people now working at the gig rig we're always working on new stuff guitar players from Simon Neal from Biffy Clyro Andy Timmons Ed O'Brien, Radiohead. It's so motivating and, uh, and humbling that these people would say, I really like what you've done. The Pro 14, the first product we had, we had to educate the market. And that's when I first got into understanding the power of video and, and YouTube. So how do we get all these pedals powered by a single, simple supply? Well, the answer is in the Gigrig modular power supply system. Mick was the editor at a magazine called Guitar Buyer when I first met him, and I loved that magazine. And I really valued his opinion, and so whenever I had a question, I'd give him a call. And Mick said to me, I'm getting into video. I said, oh, that's awesome. I'll come down and we'll do some stuff. And we just play with stuff, and you have you heard this? Oh, it's amazing. Welcome to That Pedal Show, <laughs> number one. So uh, my name's Daniel Steinhardt. My name's Mick Taylor. And uh, we're going to take you through some very interesting, of what we think is very interesting, uh, things that are happening at the moment in the world of pedals. And it was just a bit of fun. There was no ambition with it, and it became a thing. It's great to know that there are people out there who are in, feel passionately about the stuff the way that we do. The world of pedals now is an amazing place to be. It is so exciting. 
there are so many creative people who are coming up with these incredible ideas and being able to put them in a pedal that you can plug a guitar into and, and create sounds that you've never heard before. It goes back to that first time I heard the guitar and I realised that I could hit it with a stick and say something different than if I sat down and played some really nice chords. You know, it's such an expressive sounding instrument and that you can do that with pedals now. The future's going to be awesome. Right, now there might be some stuff in there.